Sabah everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite applications. This application simplifies my life when it comes down to packages, specifically tracking packages. Now, it doesn't matter if it's a package that I'm sending or receiving, USPS, DHL, uh, FedEx, or even uh, using DHL for international packages, this application unifies all of my updates in one location and pushes updates or notifications straight to my phone or my smartwatch just to let me know where my packages are. This is TK and this is one of my favorite apps. Let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new packages or videos on the channel. So the app that we're talking about today is called Deliveries Package Tracker. It's made by a company by ORRS. Um, it is available in free with the contained that basically adds uh, or you basically get the in-app purchase, which helps you get uh, some additional features on top of removing ads. Uh, once you open it up, the UI or the elements are very simple. There is a widget functionality as well. You're able to see the different tracking. The pro version allows you to actually have synchronization between devices, meaning I can actually synchronize my content from one phone to the other. So if I update an application or if I add an item to my tracking, list it updates on the next device so this is great for people that carry two smartphones um, the app itself is pretty simple there's a lot of functional things there's active and complete you're able to go in there synchronize websites and of course if you want to be able to jump into that under the settings you get a few additional options as well so let's go ahead and jump in here you'll notice that the list here is a little bit different because i actually installed it uh, with two separate accounts i didn't want to show uh, the pro uh, just all of the features of the pro so here the systems on these two devices here, the S21 Ultra and the Find X3 Pro, are both under the same account and they're both under the Pro. And what I mean by this is if I go into this delivery and I click OK here and I'm going to change this to item 5. I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'll go back and I'm going to go ahead and refresh and I'll refresh one more time here. I'll give it a second to update and you'll notice that the item 5 on the right side is going to be on item 5 number 5 here. Very simple, very easy. Now, the list gives us access to a different list. There are the active lists and the completed list. You can go under completed. You can see different items that were completed. And you don't necessarily have to delete them out of the entire list, meaning you can keep an archive of all of that information. Now, if you'd like to be able to see the information on the actual site that this was intended for, you go directly into the three dots at the top right, say show in browser. And you can see here, it opened it up in, in Chrome and I'm able to see all of the information the exact same way. So the main benefit here is that it's a synchronization of information. You're able to customize the looks of it. As you notice, I have dark theme turned on in here, sort deliveries and so on, uh, default values for different uh, customizations, automation. This is some of the options where it says automatically start up and of course clipboard uh, customizations. Uh, last but not least is provider filter. You can customize the filters that you have and by different areas. You can see this is uh, somewhat of an aggregate list of all the different providers that they support. For me, I prim primarily use FedEx, UPS, DHL, as well as USPS in the US. Those are the primary delivering services that we have. Um, but it also does work with some of the international ones. Now, under synchronization, you're able to log in with your Google account and, of course, connect it with a deliveries account, which enables you to sync for multiple devices as well as add Amazon or eBay accounts as well, uh, so that you'll be able to bridge over some of that information. Uh, translations design, again, you can customize the default theme by default is that color that you're seeing there. I have it turned on to dark. Uh, there's blue OLED and different options that you're able to customize. Uh, you know, uh, basically create a date and of course show in deliveries, show in days. A backup and restore widget this is the option that we saw in here so if i go here and i'll swipe to the right there's a small version of this widget and of course there's the darker and darker version here and the way i have it there uh, but you can also customize it or resize it so depending on how many items that you have this is going to look exactly the same the main benefit that I'm really enjoying about this is that if you want to, you can go in and upgrade to the Pro Edition. So you go under the About section and then you're able to jump in here and that removes primarily the ads that you're getting there. So the Pro version, I for me, is active because I've purchased the license and it recognizes it here in the system. Otherwise, you're going to be basically using it with uh, ads and it does actually pop in ads every once in a while. Uh, right now, it's not doing anything, but again, the main benefit of this application is it unifies all of the tracking, all the packages that you want. And you can see here, it categorizes them by delivery. So you have the FedEx, the UPS, the FedEx uh, again here, UFC, uh, DHL, USPS. And again, it syncs across multiple devices if you're able to turn it on. And you can support the developer by getting the pro version, remove the ads, which makes it very, very. The simplicity of the app is really the main benefit here. It's an aggregate list of packages. Now, you can basically start color coding, customizing, organizing these lists based on packages that you're sending or packages that you're receiving. But the main benefit here is that you can actually, let's say you get an email with a tracking number. 
the first thing you do is highlight that tracking number and then share it. So basically as if you're sharing the uh, actual number with another application on your device and you share it directly into the deliveries app and you're basically adding it as a new package to track. So it's a simple, easy way to do it. You can sync it up to Amazon as well as eBay. I don't use those services primarily because uh, with Amazon it's such a quick delivery. It's almost, it makes no sense for me to even try to track it. But Amazon also does a much better uh, tracking of their packages as you get consistent notification from the Amazon app. Let me know in the comments below what do you think of this application and could this potentially help you organize your life when it comes down to packages? Again, for me, that's something that will always be very functional because I tend to have a lot of packages coming in and going out. So when I'm buying things, when I'm sending things, when I'm getting things sent over, it always helps me to know when and how long things are going to be before they show up. So the main thing I want to say is that this application just seriously helps you organize your package life um, down to the how many days are left before your package is showing up. Uh, you can sort them by uh, delivery companies. You can sort them by, uh, again, how many days are left. And of course, at the end of the day, you're going to be more in control uh, of your life when it comes down to packages. And you're not going to have to worry about packages showing up when you don't know when they're supposed to show up. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I'll see you in the next one.